Hello, I'm Vito Vera Centeno. I'm a hydrogeologist by training and technical support analyst here at Sequent. And in this video, I'm going to show how to create a saturated and unsaturated groundwater model in LeapFrog. This is the geological model that I created before. This is a aquifer system model with all the, its geological units. So I'm going to bring some groundwater measurements that we took from this area. So to do this, I'm going to the project tree points import points and in that case i saved on my local machine so i choose local and i choose my csv table with my groundwater measurements and in that case that csv table has just three columns that x and y are coordinates of that measurement and the z coordinate represented by the groundwater elevation at those x and y coordinates so i choose finish and now I'm going to create a simple mesh from those points that I've just imported. So to do this, I'm going to the project tree meshes, new mesh from points. Then I'm going to look for the points that I've just imported. Uh, and I'm going to ch change the extents to that geological model in the scene. I could change the surface resolution, but I'm going to leave as default. So now I have my groundwater surface here on the scene, and I'm going to create a simple saturated and unsaturated geological model. To do this, I right click on geological models, new geological model. I change the base lithology column to none. I'm going to include that same geological model that I enclosed before, and I'm going to name inset inset model. I'm going to change the surface resolution to 60 to be the same resolution of my mesh. The next step would be to add my lithologies. So I double click on lithologies in the project tree. And I'm going to add a new lithology called unsaturated. And then another one called saturated. Finally, I can create a new surface to do this. I right click on surface chronology, new intrusion from surface. Then I choose that mesh that I created before. First lithology would be unsaturated. The second lithology would be saturated. The last step for this model would be to double click on my geological model and go to the chronology and activate all uh, that contact surface that I created. So that will create volumes, uh, the saturated and unsaturated volume, as you can see here. So now I can combine this model, this saturated and unsaturated model with my other model containing my geological units. And to do this, the process is very simple. I right click on combined models in the project tree. I uh, choose the option new combined model. And here I choose my aquifer system and my unsaturated and saturated model that I've created. So in this next window, I will choose all the volumes from my aquifer system and all the volumes from my unsaturated and unsaturated model. And I'm going to leave the name as it is. So LeapFrog will process my model. So after LeapFrog finishes processing that combined model, I will have a combination of those two volumes of my saturated and unsaturated model in my aquifer system model containing the geological units. And you can see it here. So if I activate the legend, you will see that I have, for example, this yellow unit is my sand one and saturated unit. So it combined both models. And if I click on this lighter blue unit is my sand one saturated unit because it's below the groundwater table here. Similarly, this unit is my gravel one saturated and the above unit is my gravel one unsaturated. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much.